Thanks for coming, you guys. Yay. So first things first, finding your sit bones as much as you can, kind of towards the edge of the seat. So I'm looking for a place that I can balance and be pretty comfortable without without slouching, so finding that place. And I have my legs kind of wide, so I feel pretty comfortable. There's a weird place where it feels a little narrow, and then there's a place where it's just too wide, so I think of it maybe just inside of my arms, if I put my arms, my elbows to my ribs, and put my arms out. So my feet, just allow your feet to open up into the floor. Send that weight into the floor. Don't feel like you have to get up out of the chair anytime soon. And as much as you can, 90 degrees, like this isn't a perfect 90 for me. I could use a seat that's just a little bit shorter here, but I definitely can aim my knees over my ankles. And allow the weight of your hands and your shoulders to move towards the floor. <sighs> and I'm going to start with gentle shoulder rolls. So I'm going to roll my shoulders and really thinking about the weight of my hands at the other end of my shoulders. And rolling my shoulders forward to back. <sighs> And breathing gently, hmm, filling your lungs, filling the space in your trunk with air, freshly oxygenated blood will soon circulate as you do that. So shoulders moving up and back. And if there's any crunchy, crunchy parts, just notice. Don't have to correct any of it. It'll start to unravel. And a few more times, up and back. Making sure that your sit bones are still on the chair, that you didn't shift anything in your lower back. One more time. Letting the weight of the hands keep your arms long. Oh, that was my last one. Dangle, dangling my arms. Keep them dangling. Oh, and now I'm going to move them in the other direction. So they move back, up, and around. And again, just noticing in your body any little crackly crunchies, maybe tension in your feet, like all of a sudden you're moving your shoulders but your feet are tweaking. So just relax your feet into the floor. <sighs> Breathing, making noise if you can, if you want to on the exhale, feels good. Really letting the weight of your hands be this sort of juxtaposition to this wheel-like mo motion of your shoulders. Couple more. Nice and easy, nice and gentle. Don't need to force anything. Just think that there's a circle happening. <laughs> there we go. One last time. And let the arms hang long. Good. I'm going to move all the way to my feet now. As I let, continue to let my arms hang long, I'm just going to raise my heel and lower my heel. So just kind of waking up a little bit of my legs. So the heel goes up and then it comes down. And I'm not really forcing anything here. Like I'm not trying to grip my soleus, my calf muscle here. I'm not like, Ugh. So just gentle. Think of it as creating spaces in your ankle. I'm thinking about the whole front of my shin gets really long. 
my toes stay on the floor, they widen into the floor as I just allow this little action of my ankle up and down. And every time the heel comes down, really think that that's going to be the end. That's the end moment. Poof, the heel goes into the floor. And then the other one goes up, and then the heel uh, melts into the floor so that you're really letting go or discharging weight through that heel when you let it, when it's over, when the action is done, as opposed to keeping the ankle in ready motion. No, it's over. Like whatever that action is, is now done. And I keep alternating. I'm just going to keep alternating a few more times, really looking, really looking for that heel to just. It's done, it's done. Smooth line through the shin to the front of the ankle and then the heel drops and it's done. Two more times to even yourself out. The other side, one side, the other side. Good, and now we're gonna get our spine moving. So the weight of my arms should feel pretty good here. So this oppositional force has been going. My arms are moving down this way. My torso is staying long. So now, putting my hands on my thighs, I'm going to curve my spine into a big C, letter C, looking down at my belly button, and then rolling all the way back up. And I'm going to take my eyes just a little bit, maybe the diagonal there. So not too far. Don't go too far. Just a little bit. And then take your eyes with you as you start the movement from your center, from the middle of your body, from your belly button and lower. So moving into a C curve and then rolling back up, starting from my pelvis, starting from lower of my belly button. Little focus up on the diagonal. So inhaling, <sighs> exhaling, rolling into this C curve, this ball ishness. And then Rolling back out. Uh, inhaling, feels good up here. Exhaling to curve, feels good. If you have a different breathing pattern, that's fine. Just keep making sure that you're breathing. Uh, so I think of this as just a small activation. It's actually a very big activation in the spine. Just think it's, you're curving. And then you're extending from the pelvis, creeping all the way up a little bit to the head. And up. And a few more times, gentle, starting from the pelvis, rolling into a ball, and I take my eyes to my belly. Really curve, 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 and then extending from the pelvis. Two more times. Oh, really relaxing the front part of your body in order to make that curve happen. And then opening up, if you will, the front part of your body. This will be my last one. Meet me in the middle if you go faster than me, and that's fine. <sighs> really exhaling all of that out, opening that lung space in the back of your body. Keeping your eyes opening <sighs> and blinking, and that was my last one. Good. So right from here, we can take a little roll. So. I'm rolling in my pelvis from one sit bone to the other, and my whole spine is going for a little circular ride. So sit bone, sit bone. My feet are still planted. Sit bone, sit bone. <sighs> Gentle if your back hurts a little bit. My back is a little crunchy from the bed I've been sleeping in. So just <laughs> notice. So circle, circle. And go the other way. There's always one side that's funkier than the other. Mm. And keep breathing, noticing, and I'm keeping my hip flexors right in here, this socket really soft, so there's a little gooey moment right there, whereas if I put my fingers right here, my 
I would go over those fingers ever so gently. So nice and gentle through the femurs, opening up the pelvis. Should start to feel a little warm, I think, too. One more to finish that side up. Meet me in the middle. Ah. Good. Now, a little diagonal moment. So, I'm going to take one pelvis back. And as that pelvis goes back, my torso goes for a little ride and I take my eyes onto that diagonal. And then I'm going to reverse from my pelvis. So my pelvis starts to come back forward. And my torso follows, my spine follows, and then I go the other side, pelvis moving back. Little diagonal. And pelvis brings my spine back. We'll do this a few times. So thinking it comes from my pelvis because I'm gonna move this knee, this femur bone back along the chair and my spine follows it. And then I'm gonna bring that one back to its regular position, and then the other one picks that up. And then this femur slides back as my spine continues to spiral. It's a gentle spiral, so don't, don't force anything here. This is just waking it all up. So moving from side to side from the pelvis, and I'm gonna face you in just one second, but you're gonna keep going. So you can see that my two knees pass by each other as one side of my pelvis moves back and the other side moves forward. I'm trying not to let my knees collapse in towards each other. And then one femur slides forward and then this femur is gonna slide back. So the more <laughs> my knee is gonna not curve in. Uh, Few more times, just a couple more times. Diagonals, nice spirals in the spine. Spirals are really nice for the body. All of our body is made up of spirals. From side to side, making sure you're breathing nice and easily. See if the breath helps you move. And two more times, one each side, let's say. One each side to make sure you've evened yourself out. Femurs, pelvis, initiate the movement to get the spine moving. And the eyes continue on that diagonal. This is my last one. And meet me in the middle. <sighs> Good. And drink. Now, <laughs> whenever you need to, <laughs> have a drink. <laughs> Okay, moving up just a little higher in our bodies. I'm going to interlace my hands. Ooh, yeah, we're going to do that first. A nice stretch there with my thumbs pointing towards the floor so I get a really nice stretch in my hands. I'm trying to drop my shoulders so I don't have my shoulders up by my ears. Staying on my sit bones. Should feel pretty strong in your middle, in your abdominal, core, trunk area. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna let that go. We're gonna switch the interlocking to so give a little shake before we switch. So yeah, so making sure the interlocking is different than it was the last time. This is my more difficult side with my thumbs pointing down, my elbows aiming to be straight. My shoulders down and not up by my ears. <sighs> If there's any tension going on here, you can give your head a little nod or a little rock there, but not a big movement. Hmm. Good, we're gonna let go of that, give it a little shake. Oh, okay, interlace your favorite side, maybe. <laughs> and we're gonna take this position, this picture, we're gonna Take them up over our heads. And when they're up over my head, I have to bend my elbows ever so little. Okay, I'm gonna take my circles. I'm gonna look up at my head, up at my hands, and I'm gonna take my hands for a circle in the sky. So you should feel like a pretty high movement. We're gonna change it in a moment. But eyes working with the hands, 
creating a little circle on the ceiling. If you had, if you were kind of like Spider-Man and could shoot some ink out of your knuckles there. <laughs> nice and gentle circles. <sighs> Pelvis strong in the chair. And they're pretty small, this circle. That allows your pelvis to really stabilize you. <sighs> and we're gonna go the other direction before we let it go. So see if you can hang in there. Go the other direction, little circles. <sighs> Keep breathing, little circles, you've got it. Keep your shoulders down. A ah, little circle. We're gonna make them bigger in the next round. Little circles, painting the ceiling with the inside of your hands. Two more circles, keep breathing, you've got this. Ah. Okay, let's let it go, bringing the arms down, my eyes down. Ah, I'm gonna bring my head down. Letting my head hang, shaking my hands out. <sighs> Good. We're gonna do one more variation of that. Good, ooh, warming up all of that. So, interlacing with the not so comfortable way. Thumbs down, taking the arms overhead again. I'm gonna keep my vision, I think, forward. Let me see, yeah, I think I like that. And now we're gonna make this circle, but it's gonna be a little bit bigger because it's gonna be, I want you to think that it's the ribs that are moving now. My ribs are moving my body. So yes, you see my hands, but it's because of my ribs. So it's a little bit of a deeper circle now. So your head will go for a little bit of a ride. So if you notice your eyes moving with your head, they might hit the ceiling here at the top. So really looking for the level of your ribs. Keep moving in a circle. So right from here, right from your rib, your lower ribs, the whole rib case is going for a circular ride here, which is a little bit deeper than the one we were doing. Your pelvic bones anchor your pelvis, your feet keep widening into the floor. A few more times in this direction. Head gently goes for a ride, your eyes go for a ride in the space with your head. Keep the thumbs moving away from your hands. Ooh, okay, other direction. Keep breathing, send the ribs with your head and your arms. Oh, ribs and arms and head. Oh, keep breathing and if it's too much, you can always let it go. You could always grab a shirt <laughs> or a towel and do this, holding onto that in the middle, that would be totally fine. Softening your shoulders down. Oh, one more, two more. Let's do two more circles in this direction before we let it go. Ah, let it go. I'm going to let my head hang. I'm going to let my arms hang. I'm going to shake out my hands. Woo! Good, good. Ah, good. Okay. Ah, doing okay, everybody? Give me a thumbs up. Good, good. Okay, awesome. If you need a sip. <laughs> Yay, good. Awesome. So, the little stretch, I'm going to take one foot and let it go underneath the chair Oops. and try not to fall off. So just, you might feel a little bit of stretch in the front. It's gentle, it's not a big stretch. You might feel a little bit of tenderness on top of the foot. I'm moving sideways, you can see my foot is curved under. <sighs> so here I have a balancing act on my sit bones to try and make this happen. 
Just sneaking that foot behind. And I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna bring that foot back out and put it back on the floor. Slide the other one underneath. Looking for a baby stretch, teeny stretch. It might be the top of the foot that feels like it's being stretched. Or it might feel like the front of the quadricep. Either way, just a nice opening in the front of the pelvis. And let's bring that foot back in. I'm going to do it two more times, one on each side, just sliding the foot. If you can, if you can't because of the way the chair is, that's okay. You could maybe try it on the side of the chair. I like to sneak it inside the chair. <laughs> Good, breathing, breathing. Gentle opening here, not a big, big stretch. And take it back out and the other side. And again, you could do it on the outsides of your chair. You could do it here, feels a little different. Or you could take it on the inside. I don't know why I like the inside, I just do. Okay, bringing it back. So, Next thing, I forgot how it goes. Okay, I got it. So <laughs> it's like riding a bicycle in two directions. So I'm gonna pick up my thigh, really anchor this thigh, take it out, bring it in. So up, out, down, and in. Try not to let too much happen in the upper body or in the pelvis, because sometimes we want to do this. So trying not to make that happen. And I'm not really pointing my foot or anything, but I am getting a little bit of my quadriceps working. My psoas is working to help me raise the foot. Two more times on this side before we change to the other side. That's my last time. And other side, out and down and in. Up and out and down and in. Ah, noticing, just noticing, easy, hard. If something in your middle section wants to shrink away from the action, notice that and just Stay tall on your sit bones. Tell yourself, I'm tall on my sit bones. Nothing changes. Two more times, up and breathe. See if the breathing will help it make it easier. I think that was my last time. So now I'm gonna go out, up and in, like riding a bicycle. It goes out and knee up and down, out. Knee up and down, out, knee up and down, two more, out, knee up and down, this is my last one. Other side, out, knee, and out, a little so as action, out, knee up and down, and it's out. Knee up and down. Yes, yeah, so it's a little bit like a bicycle, but not really. <laughs> and two more times. Knee up and down. There's my last one. Ah, good. So give those legs a little, a little jog, a little tap, 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 tap on the floor. And now we'll go for our flash dance move. So I'm gonna go open and look up to the ceiling and then bring it in with a little curve so it goes up and curve and it's a gentle moment in the legs but if you do feel like you are you know having your flash dance moment enjoy it opening up like a clamshell and then closing in the back <laughs> the spine has that similar movement that we did earlier with the C curve and open, and then closing. Trying to keep my feet pretty soft against the floor. Open and closing. And of course, always in your own breath timing. If I'm breathing and moving faster than you, you do it in your time. 
open and closing opening closing opening closing two more times opening right from the middle of your belly bring yourself back in and then last one open and right from your belly bring it all back in good let it go Woo. I feel that today <sighs> good Hmm. So, I think getting ready to close up here. I'm going to put both of my arms across my body. Hmm. Hmm. And really allow the weight of your hands to take you. Not really to move, but you should feel it. Like I feel the weight of my hands on my shoulders which makes me a little bit more aware of my pelvis again, which then makes me check in with my feet. So see if you can kind of check into those places. <sighs> I'm gonna take a couple big deep breaths here. So my ribs and my, my ribs and my lungs are gonna expand in contrast to that weight. <sighs> and they're gonna let it go, then let it go with your exhale. <sighs> Good. So now I'm going to give my elbows a little jiggle, up and down, up and down. So they're just jiggling a little bit, up and down, up and down. And the sensation here is that, like if I could shake sand by doing this somehow, that the shaking would allow sand to continue to drift through my body to my feet. So like shake, 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 and a little sand is dribbling through my body to my feet. I have found that this calms me sometimes when I'm feeling extra kind of hyper. I cross my arms and I give myself a little shake as if I could jiggle sand to the floor. And breathing deeply. So let's see if that has a calming effect for you as well, because then I love giving people tools that they can use. <sighs> Just a few more jiggles. <sighs> and whatever rhythm it is, is it's perfect rhythm. <sighs> and now I'm going to let that go. Just let your arms fall down by your side. Hmm. Good. Hmm. One last, last thing. I'm gonna reach my arms by my side, out, out, out. Feel your lungs expand as they reach the T position. As they come up, leave your shoulders down and cross your body. Two more times, reaching out, kind of like sealing it up for some reason. Feels like the right thing to do today. And as I pass my hands down by my sides, I really feel like sending everything back to its rightful place, into organization for whatever I need to do next. And just breathe. Ah. <sighs> 